welcome back to abra knowledge channel there have been many people requested for this video and uh, to accept the request and to produce a video i have ju i'm just making this video uh, this is on iso iec 27001 i'm going to cover the latest uh, standard that is 2022 and uh, this going this one uh, this standard is basically about uh, uh, the security whether you talk about information security, whether you talked about cyber security, whether you talk about the privacy protections and all that, this standard is been well known and a very expensive standard and has got uh, clear cut guidelines and all that. And it is being governed by ISO slash IEC. And just to give you a full form, as you all know, that ISO stands for International Organization for Standardization. And then what about IEC? IEC stand for uh, international again. This is also international one. International E stand for electrotechnical and uh, C stand for commission. So international and electro uh, technical commissions. This is the one. 27,27001 is a standard for all the security system. Whether it's you can call it as a, you can use for various thing, information security, and then you can use it for cyber security. You can use a privacy protections and all that. These three uh, standard. Uh, I mean, these three uh, concept, these three elements does cover twenty seven thousand standard. Let's talk more about it. And uh, and the good news is that it does follow the ISO nine thousand one two thousand fifteen structure. For example, scope, normative reference, terms and definition, and then context of the organization. Class number four. Class number five is leadership. Class number six is the planning. Class number seven is resources. Class number eight is operation. Class number nine is performance evaluation. And class number 10 is improvement. Pretty much the same structure it does follow. And it has got uh, the subclasses, which is uh, not related to quality management system, but related to information management system. Right? That was all about that uh, briefing about that one. And it's a third edition and published in the last year only. Uh, October 2022, it got uh, published as such, right? And uh, let's let's go uh, more in detail and pretty much uh, the same. Uh, it talks about the scope, a normative reference, and terms and definitions. Uh, it remains to be uh, non-auditable classes in all these standards, whether you talk about ISO 9001, whether you talked about 14,000, whether you talked about 45,000, whether you talked about, uh, you know, various other one, 13K and all that, it remains to be uh, non-auditable um, uh, classes as such. So the auditable class starts with the class number four. Class number four, as I mentioned, that it is a mandatory class. Start from the four all the way to 10. It's a mandatory class. So it basically deals with uh, the class number four deals with the context of the organization. Has got uh, the four uh, subclasses, same like an ISO. An ISO has got that four subclasses, exactly in the same thing that uh, the 27,000 also has got four subclasses. So 4.1, understanding the organization and context, pretty much the same. Uh, finding out the interested parties, uh, sorry, finding out the internal issues and external issues that should not affect three things. So it should not affect the information system. It should not affect the cyber security. It should not affect that uh, privacy uh, and the protections and all that, right? So in conjunction to it, uh, what it context, it should not affect two of the context. What so should not purpose of the organization and then context of the organization. Uh, it should not uh, strategic direction. That is long term mission and vision of the organization should not uh, be affected. So class number 4.1, it is all about that uh, in the understanding the organization context. Let's move on. 4.2 is understanding the need and expectation of interested parties. This is something about uh, finding out the interested parties, how it can affect them. For example, internal, uh, for example, in foreign organization, interested parties could be from suppliers, vendors, and uh, could be various stakeholder who associate, who are uh, part of the imbibe and part of the organization. And in context to that, uh, the security one, how it, uh, how they contribute and uh, very importantly, like it should not affect them. Determine the scope of the information security management system in 4.3 generally in ISO 9001. Uh, you might 
uh, you would have find found that determine the scope of quality management system instead of quality management system uh, here it uses the word information security management system right basically again at uh, 4.1 that is in, uh, internal issues and external issues and 4.2 interested parties and these two plus the scope uh, 4.3 4.3 is all about 4.1 in uh, the understanding the organization context and then the interested party these two uh, plus you have the scope you need to find out from the geographical geographical perspective from the information process perspective and all that then lastly you have that uh, everything getting connected to the dot that the information security management system uh, that is basically interaction how many main functions supporting functions and all that you can definitely have so and moving to the class number five and same like an organization if you look at that uh, ISO 9001, it starts basically with the three subclasses. Exactly, it also has got leadership commitment, pretty much the same column. E, I mean, uh, the, uh, the uh, points A to J, it remains the same. And uh, plus you have that, uh, for example, we need to have that uh, the top management shall account, take the accountability of uh, information system and information security system and uh, you know have the policy information policy and have the objectives and promote the culture of risk based thinking promote the culture of pro process approach and so on right and then policy policy again uh, if you just uh, root this word uh, it come from the iso 9000 policy mean intention and direction so again with reference to the information security system you will find that what is the intention like you wanted to have a an organization without any security security risk and lapse and all that that could be your intention what are the ways you will adopt to follow that policy right uh, that is nothing called uh, nothing but that is called uh, directions of the organization pretty much the same and that is called policy organization roles and responsibility basically in our chart basically detailing down uh, what the responsibility of individuals and top management and all that right moving to class number six uh, again pretty much the same uh, classes we have uh, but here slightly the subclass may be look same uh, from the iso 9001 to 27000 but completely different action to address risk and opportunities again it has given that uh, the points from the 4.1 4.2 4.3 and all that it has given so something like departmental risk what the risk uh, as a whole for the individual departments it can bring uh, that we need to find out so, and then generally it uh, talks about it 6.1.2 information security risk assessment and it talks about it and uh, how we can just do that treatment also it talks about basically it talks about the assessment how you will evaluate uh, the risk and opportunities and how you will treat the risk and opportunities also it will talk about it so these two are paramount and uh, basically uh, when you say risk from the iso uh, 9000 perspective anything uncertainty and it has given the two formula or uh, two component you need to cover one component you need to cover that basically about uh, risk is being categorized by two things one is potential events severity what is the likelihood how much uh, the issue how likely it is going to happen right that is uh, risk assessment and risk treatment is something how you are going to take it whether it's low medium and high and how you classify them how you will take the treatment so 6.1 is easy to uh, structure down 6.1 basically finding out that risk and opportunity and then you're just uh, assessing it and then you're classifying it and then you're taking the actions so and then 6.2 quality objective uh, and uh, instead of quality objective you'll find that information security objective and planning to achieve them and pretty much the same like uh, the quality uh, information security objectives can be at department level and uh, can be at subject level for example information system and cyber system you can have different uh, one and you know, privacy protection you can have a different the objectives and all that so and then not only that you need to also have a pl uh, plan to achieve them also as well right so 6.3 does not exist so uh, uh, you know planning of changes does not exist only that was there in iso 9001 2015 as such so it does not there in the iso uh, 27000 so let's move on so 27 i mean seventh class uh, is all about the resources again pretty much the same uh, when you say resources it ref referring to the uh, people referring to organization knowledge is there it pretty much is there and then you have a monitoring measurement resources that is calibration all that is pretty much is there and competence is pretty much same class when you say competent having uh, 
give a training and assess that uh, whether the training is effective check the effectiveness of the training read uh, have that uh, retained document information that is a record and pretty much the same and here awareness and just like the ISO 9001, how it talks about four things exactly here also it talks about it. Uh, have the awareness on the information uh, security uh, policy and objectives and then what is the implications or breach or lapse when it happened, what the impact will give, what is the benefit of having this great security system. So that's what the awareness everyone should have. And communication, what to communicate, when to communicate and all that basically documented information here. Uh, it also talks about that pretty much the same, but only here it talks about, you know, you have to have protect the document, even the external origin document you have to protect and make sure that uh, everything is stays uh, in compliance. So uh, that is pretty much big class. And then moving to class number eight, class number eight is a shortest class uh, when it comes to an ISO 9001. What is the longest class because we start, uh, start with the 8.1 all the way to 8.7. But here it only starts with the 8.1 to 8.3. Let's talk about 8.1 operational planning and control. Now basically, like what are the ways uh, the, the issues can come? Just recall that, you know, 6.1. Uh, so the issues can come at departmental level and then issues can come at uh, internal issues and external issues, interested parties and all that. Basically, you have a plan and information security risk assessment again is connecting back to the 6.2, uh, 6.1 information uh, security risk assessment, uh, risk treatment and all that. So what is being given there in the 6.1, it has been stretched back uh, in 8.1 and 8.2 and 8.3. So that's what it also, it, so it, the class number eight is pretty much easier in ISO uh, 27,000. Performance evaluation, pretty much same. Monitoring measurement analysis, have the internal audit and have the management uh, review. So these three are uh, pretty much uh, the same. And uh, you will not find something called uh, 9.1.2 here that is actually customer focus and all that because it's basically foreign organizations and all that, right? So you will not find it, but you will find it 9.1, 9.2 and 9.3. 9.1, monetary measurement analysis and evaluation. 9.2 is internal audit. Uh, conduct an internal audit, plan intervals and management review. Again, you, you can conduct a plan intervals and all that. And then, uh, so 10, class number 10 is also shortest one. It has got only two subclasses, uh, continual improvement, find a ways how we can improve that security systems and all that, and then confirm non-confirmate and corrective action how you will take that ad and all that so it ends with the 10.2 but basically other standard do carry the 10.3 basically talking about 10.3 uh, is basically uh, taking the input from management and improving upon but uh, uh, iso 27000 stays with the class number 10.2 so just to summarize a uh, very fast forward i uh, start with the scope normative reference and terms and definition that remain same and co class number four context of the organization and uh, with respect to information system information security system you will find it internal issues external issues interested parties and then you will also will uh, scope and uh, in connecting all these things into 4.4 and leadership actually like again uh, has got three subclasses leadership and commitment a to j pretty much the same uh, one and policy uh, information security uh, management policy and what is the intention and direction you need to have and then you also have a planning planning is actually like very important the pivotal class is planning because planning is does cover with a class number 8.1 also as well, right? So class number seven is pay pretty much uh, stays uh, same like an ISO 9001 and resources, competence, awareness, and communications. And class number eight is, uh, again, it's connecting back to class number six, the operational planning and control and information security risk assessment and treatment and all that. Performance evaluation and improvement uh, and uh, checked and act. So that what uh, performance evaluation, basically internal audit uh, and uh, management review and all that improvement is something you have continual improvement and non-conformity one. So that was uh, all about uh, class uh, ISO IEC 7001 and 2022 uh, is the latest version which I covered today. And as it, again, IEC like ISO is been uh, governed by IEC TC 176 exactly in the same thing uh, IEC has been in turn governed by there is a security call uh, the uh, 
electro electro uh, you know electro uh, pedia security is the one and who govern these uh, standards i hope you find this video helpful and please do comment if you have any particular sections or any questions you have in any particular section please do like share subscribe my channel you have wonderful day ahead